gym outfit of the day because I didn't record a workout, so I figured I'd just show you my outfit. <laughs> Why do you judge me? It's just funny. I didn't record a workout, so here's what I was wearing when I was working out. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. Today I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about injury or muscle soreness, which can kind of kind of be considered injury, but I wanted to talk about that today and the importance it is to rest. So I got it on video. In the last video that I posted, I showed you guys the like sumo squats that I did on top of like the box. Basically, those killed me. Those killed my back. I, I think it was just because I haven't worked that muscle that hard like ever or in a long time and I'm hoping I didn't injure myself I think it's just all in the muscle I don't think I hurt my back but anyway like I'm like so sore like debil debilitating sore like I wake up so stiff and it's hard to sit up get up walk sit bend like it's it's rough it's my lower back and so um, I was thinking about not going to the gym today, but I decided to go and just kind of did a really light, kind of full body, lightweight, um, just to kind of get my muscles, keeping them warm, keeping them stretched. And then I just focused on cardio. I just wanted, like the reason why I wanted to bring this up though, is just kind of to update how I'm doing and what happened with my like soreness and whatever. The reason why it's really important to rest is that if you never give your body that time to heal and recoup, you could just be making the damage worse. Um, you could just be worsening your situation and that's not good. It's okay to rest. And even if you haven't injured yourself, it's important to incorporate rest days. So I usually try to get two rest days in a week. Um, usually I'll have a rest day like in the middle of the week and then one on the weekend. Um, I don't like to do more than two days in a row resting, things like that. And I don't like to go too often. And there's a train that's about to come, so I'm going to end this clip. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on anything. Bye, guys. All right, guys. So today we're going to start out with a super set. Um, this exercise is working your hamstrings. It's just like a deadlift, but you're using dumbbells. So you really want to focus on really stretching your hamstrings as you come down. And then you really want to like mind muscle focus on your hamstrings when you lift up. Does that make sense? <laughs> you kind of really have to focus on your hamstrings to work that specific area. Um, so next we're going to do some squats using the cable. So I have a little what is this called? A V bar. Um, using that to squat with. I started with about 20 pounds, I believe. Um, this is kind of a sumo squat. This is really focusing on depth with squats. So um, getting really low. This cable machine really helps work that area to build the strength there and getting super low. Also using the cable helps you to avoid injury. So there's that. This is going to get your heart rate up as well. Like I was like, I was dying. <laughs> so then you're just going to drop back to, you know, your deadlifts. You want to rest in between these though. So in between each superset, you want to rest for about 30 seconds. Um, so I do this exercise, then the squats nonstop, and then I will take my 30 second rest. So yeah. Also, you want to make sure you're pushing your hips forward with the um, deadlift. So this is just a different angle on the squats. I added 10 more pounds, so this is up to 30 pounds. Um, you wanna make sure your knees are not going over your toes. You know, sit back into that squat um, and just make sure you're keeping your back straight. Always look up. I looked down a couple times, I'm still learning. <laughs> if you're looking up though, it just helps keep your posture and keep your back straight. So yeah, there's that. Then last set, so I do this three sets. Back to the dumbbell deadlift, I guess. <laughs> a little hamstring workout. And then I just go back to the squats. Sumo squats with the V-bar and the cable machine. And I believe I added 10 more pounds. So 40 pounds, I think. I'm trying to look at that weight there. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's 40 pounds there. 
Um, and yeah, that ends the super set. Okay, next I'm doing a split squat with the Smith machine. This is also known as a Bulgarian butt, right? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I do five and five. This really keeps your heart rate up. I think I'm doing 20 pounds on each side, so 40 pounds. This really isolates your hamstring. I love doing isolated movements, especially with legs, because my right leg is a lot stronger than my left. It's my power leg, so my left butt cheek is a little bit smaller, you know? So doing isolated work, I usually do like a couple extra reps on my left leg just to kind of help compensate for that unevenness. So um, you want to make sure again that you are getting your leg far back so that your front leg, your knee isn't over going your toes. Does that make sense? So you want to make sure you're really stretching that leg backwards. So I'm using, you know, the bench behind me. So you just want to make sure that's set back far enough. So um, yeah, again, this really works your hamstrings and I did this for three rounds. But I'm going to skip that. I lowered it down and then I do, um, these are the hip thrusts. These are amazing. And I use the Smith machine because I go pretty heavy on these. And so there's no way I can be getting a barbell situated. And so anyway, so I'm using four 45 pound plates. You'll do the math. Okay, I'll do the math for you. It's 180 pounds. <laughs> so I try to do that for about 12. 12 to 15 depending on depending on how heavy I went and anyway so you want to make sure you're really pushing your hips up and when you get to the very top slightly hold it slightly pause um, so yeah so then I went ahead and added two 25 pound plates which puts me up to 230 pounds <laughs> of the hip thrust you guys these hips don't lie all right <laughs> So like I said, when you get to the top, you really want to squeeze and push your hips forward. Um, depending on, you know, your flexibility, if you can just, however high you can push it, the better you, this is really working your glutes and your hamstrings, it kills me. And then I went ahead and added 10 more pounds to each side, which put me up to 250 pounds. And I believe this was a PR for this day. I believe so. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, of course, I dropped the reps down each set, do my drop sets. So I think I only did eight here, and uh, I was really struggling. I was really struggling through this. So I think I sped this up right here. But <laughs> man, you guys, these kill. These kill you. And oh, 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 almost. I couldn't latch it. I was so exhausted. Okay, got it. <laughs> and then I just die. I just die for a minute. <laughs> So now here I am just being a tool, you know, just checking my gains. <laughs> I had a little bit of a quad pump this day. So anyway, moving on. So then I went into the leg press machine. I do three different types of the leg press. So first you want to just do your regular leg press, you know, your feet, how I have them, as you see. Um, I think I did about 10. I think I do 10 reps each, maybe eight. I don't know. I should probably count these before I do a voiceover. So you just do them regular. And then you're going to rest 30 seconds. You probably want to time it so that you don't go longer. So I just took a little rest and then you put your feet together for the second type. Um, this really works your quads and your hamstrings and your butt. Um, I really feel it in my quads though. I always super burn though. Um, burn there I should say. So then you do the 10 and I have 45, plant, 45 pound plates on each side so that's about 90 pounds. Um, so yeah, then you take your rest, your 30 second rest, and then you're gonna go into your last um, type of, I guess, leg press. <laughs> so then these are like a, the frog, a froggy kind. So you wanna like V your toes out. You're gonna feel super awkward doing this, but of course you're working your inner thighs, you're working your outer hip, you know, your adductors. Um, yeah, just try to go as low as you can. Like you wanna like feel like you're gonna knee yourself in the face. Um, but yeah, I do these three types, 30 seconds in between three rounds, if that makes sense. That concludes this workout, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the workout, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And y'all know the drill. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Bye, guys.